President Emerson Mnangagwa this Wednesday commissioned AI-powered silos at the Grain Marketing Board in Mutare and launched the 2026 to 2030 Agriculture Food Systems and Rural Transformation Strategy, marking key steps in modernizing grain management and boosting food security in Zimbabwe. Our Manikulin correspondent Josephine Nyangwanza has the details. The smarter silos, which are part of the ongoing modernization of the GMP, include 14 AI-driven silos across Zimbabwe. This is designed to bring about services closer to the grass communities and ensure equitable distribution of resources. With regards to storage silo facilities, therefore, these sites under construction are also in Mashimbo, Burtenga, Marondera, Mangura, Ratungora, Burue, Buri, Lindura, Gope, Rupane, Nokramtri. Saka imo kuno, eh, manikamta soka ena lame. Once operational, the silos will add a combined 750,000 tons of storage capacity, reinforcing Zimbabwe's role as a regional food distribution hub, a designation confirmed by the World Food Programme, which expressed a readiness to collaborate with Zimbabwe following engagements in Geneva. These are equipped with digital monitoring systems, automated grain handling technologies, and advanced quality control algorithms. These systems enhance grain storage efficiency. They reduce post harvest losses and ensure national food safety through improved risk monitoring and the globally acclaimed management standards. Similar facilities will soon be established in Mashingo, Rutenga, Marondera, Guruwe, Mangura, Rafingora, Bindura, Gokwe and Plum Tree. By the sidelines of the event, Dr. Edson Badarai, the Chief Executive Officer of GMP, explained how the silos work. So this one is controlled from here. This is the manual assisting. So this is the intake from here. These are the hoopers. You then see that uh, this one here is the covering of the drive. This is the cooling tower. So the drive happens here. Now, if grain is coming from there, it can either go straight to the silos, okay, or it can come through here, through the dryers. Now, when it, it is then uh, directed to a specific silo using this computer. Those are the silos. Yes. The occasion also saw the president officially launching the 2026 to 2030 agriculture food systems and the rural transformation strategy and agriculture blueprint for the next five years. It is my expectation that the variable lessons learned and experience gained from the first phase of the agricultural food system and the rural transformation strategy will be brought on board to further improve our agriculture system. This strategy papers should ultimately help scale up agricultural production and sustainability, and further increase household incomes for a better quality of life for our people. The new strategy will expand uh, irrigable land uh, from 220,000 to nearly 500,000 hectares, focusing on innovation, research and agro-industrial development. It's excellent, the President, Dr. Emerson because this Second Republic is bringing in within the shortest possible time 784,000 additional storage capacity from the 750,000 we have, which was... Uh, 
four silos pre-independence, eight silos uh, first republic. And you can see now 14 silos in the second republic. Massive transformation. This is the second one following the Quebec one. And as indicated already by the minister, uh, we are likely then to go to Mangura, Buru, and then later on to others. So this is massive. Specific initiatives and the agricultural blueprint include a mechanization, agro-processing improvements, and a renewed focus on indigenous food production. As the sun sets here in the eastern highlands of Zimbabwe, government continues to anchor its transformation agenda on innovation, infrastructure, and food security. For ZTM Prime, I am Josephine Nyamanza in Motare. Now we give you a brief explanation on how these smart silos are set to transform the country's agriculture sector work. Imagine a technology so smart that it can taste the air inside a grain silo, knowing exactly when to protect its precious contents. Unlike traditional storage units, these new silos are equipped with advanced technologies that integrate artificial intelligence AI, the Internet of Things IoT, sensors and automated environmental regulation. Sounds quite complex, but basically, AI functions as the system's brain, analyzing data to preempt potential issues, recommending optimal storage practices, and optimizing energy use by activating climate controls when necessary. At the core of the system are embedded IoT sensors that continuously monitor temperature, humidity, grain moisture, and carbon dioxide levels, key indicators of spoilage or pest activity on the grain. Of note is that real-time data enables immediate environmental adjustments to preserve grain quality over extended periods. Essentially, this dynamic response helps prevent mold, decay, and pest infestation. So what happens is, upon grain delivery, the facility can automatically assess quality matrix like moisture content and direct produce to the appropriate storage compartment. The bigger picture being, the new silos are expected to significantly reduce post-harvest losses, improve grain quality, and boost farmer incomes. And what we do know is, the newly commissioned Mutare Depot together with the Kwekwe Depot, now operational are among 14 of the facilities undergoing modernization and expansion across the country. Now to discuss the place of artificial intelligence and Zimbabwe's food security drive, we are now joined live by Ivan Craig, who is the Agricultural and Rural Development Authority Board Chairman, and also known to farmers as Mudumini Mkuru. Ivan, good evening, and thank you so much for making the time and for joining us on ZTN. Now, beyond the AI-powered label, can you just explain to us in simple terms what these silos will actually do differently? Yes, um, thank you so much. You find that these silos are coming with a new technology because you find as the grain is being delivered to GMB, um, the, before the grain is put in the silos, they check the, temperature, uh, the moisture content, and then if the moisture content is higher than the prescribed one, um, then the grain is put in the dryer to reduce the moisture content to the required level. And uh, also the grain goes through a, a cleaning process before it's uh, loaded into the silos. And then as the grain gets into the silos, you find there's regulation of temperatures uh, in the silos. And if um, the moisture increases, there is a way of reducing or, or, or removing the um, humid air or the bit of moisture in the, in the silos. And if there's need to fumigate uh, or, or apply pesticide to the grain in the silos, you don't have to go up and uh, put the tablets in. They actually go through uh, the air, which is uh, put from outside. So basically, you find that in terms of uh, grain reserve, you can store your grain as long as you want, as long as the system is up and running about the 2026 to 2030 agriculture strategy compared to the previous ones, what's the most significant thing that is going to help in ensuring food security? Look, if you look at the moment, uh, farmers are now familiar uh, with uh, Pumbudza, which is uh, minimum tillage, and uh, also mechanized Pumbudza, and they are also 
um, aware that if you plant early, you'll be in a position to escape some dry spells. So you find, as we speak, a lot of farmers have mastered the early uh, land preparation and early procurement of inputs. Even if the government is coming in with uh, uh, the, the, the uh, PIP, presidential input programs, they have also secured their own inputs such that when the PIP inputs are coming, they will have already planted, which is uh, something we are recommending that farmers should know that uh, once we start receiving rains, the weather will never stop for them or time will never stop for them. It will uh, progress. So they are starting with the season and they are progressing together with the season. That will assure farmers of um, maximum potential yield from each uh, unit. And also you find that farmers are being educated as well and they've also learned uh, that growing the right crop uh, in your ecological region uh, you get the maximum potential out of your ecological region. Unlike, you know, if you don't match the two properly, you find that you are compromising on the performance of your, of your crop. So, um, yeah, farmers are learning and also the use of um, our agri-tech extension officers is also a big plus. And um, I would also want to thank our president, Dr. E. Dim Nangagwa, for capacitating the extension officers on the ground. They are motorized, they've got fuel, they've got TNDs, they've got tablets, they've got uh, protective clothing. You know, all the uh, enablers which is required for them to perform their duties they have. So there's no excuse. So with that reason, you find that we'll be in a position to uh, get the maximum we can from our ecological regions. Now let's just t briefly talk about the 2025-2026 farming season. How prepared are farmers? Yes, from ever I've been, you know, I've been to every part of Zim uh, in the past three weeks. You find that farmers, um, in terms of land preparation, on the Fumvudza, the holes are dug and they've put the mulch on. And uh, if they are practicing conventional tillage, their fields are plowed already. And also the um, uh, procurement of inputs, people have got seed in place, they have fertilizer in place, they have all the necessary uh, chemicals in place. So it's just for them waiting for the rain. So yeah, in terms of preparedness, I'm sure farmers are ready just for the first effective rains and they, um, they go ahead with their planting. <music> Thank you.